Video gaming has become increasingly popular among Pakistani teenagers, with esports set to be the next big thing in the country. But a recent string of teen suicides has shone a spotlight on gaming addiction there. Michelle Mohiyuddin reports from Islamabad. Farooq Jasra is a professional photographer, but instead of spending time on shoots, he spends most of his waking hours gunning down other players on online multiplayer game, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. He even has an allocated space in his house for gaming. It's simple, it's an addiction. And if you play and if you start uh, liking some game, so no matter what time it is or what place is it, you will just play and play and play and uh, it's, it became your addiction. Somehow, it, at some place, at some time, it became an addiction. The game that he's addicted to has come under scrutiny in several countries, including Pakistan, for being too violent. It pits maroon characters against each other in a virtual fight to the death and is one of the world's most popular mobile games. In July, the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority banned it temporarily after deeming it responsible for the suicides of four youngsters, one of whom is said to have done so after missing a task in the game. Local media reported that a mobile phone was found on his bed with the game still running. Though the ban was quickly lifted after activists argued this was an attack on freedom of expression. The move sparked a debate on gaming addiction in the country. The biggest issue that is today's issue is that suicide attempts are more and more. That's why the first step is the suicidal ideation. It is that the child is on the side of the loneliness or the game they are playing is on the side of the loneliness. It is in the social isolation, it is in the physical environment. So the chances of suicide are more and more. The issue has taken on greater urgency this year amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Pakistan has reported a 15% increase in its internet usage since the government imposed a nationwide lockdown in March to stem the spread of the coronavirus. And with people being stuck at home, mobile gaming has become more popular than ever. Despite slow internet speeds, online gaming is set to become a prominent sector in Pakistan. There are an estimated 8,500 experts associated with the game development industry and, and the country is now ranked 11th worldwide in eSports earnings. But as online gaming rises in popularity, counselor Yusuf al says parents will have to be even more vigilant. Parents have to take care of their responsibilities. They have to responsibility However, gaming addiction doesn't only affect children and youth. Farrow, for instance, can spend up to 10 hours a day playing video games. And now his children are also hooked on to video games. Michelle Mouyoudine, CNA, Islamabad.